What's good in the hood, everybody? Iggy here. I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas. I know we did here, but I don't know if you guys remember, last year, uh, our road washed out. We had a massive uh, water, you know, rainstorm and whatnot, and uh, December 23rd of last year, tree fell on my house, the road to my house washed out. I live on a single lane, dead end dirt road, and the bridge completely washed out. Well, this is what happened last week. So, um, we ain't leaving. And of course the girlfriend couldn't get by because by the time she got out of work, the road was gone. So I had a seven or eight foot ramp, uh, it was my father's, pulled it out of the garage, was able to just make it across the hole and uh, had to pull her and then it, after this actually a couple more neighbors showed up so I pulled them across and then uh, yeah it was a waiting game for the town to come out now here's the funny part our highway department all quit except for one guy yeah So now that the road is good and everything is all set, Christmas passed, it was, we had a great time, it was awesome. We have a pretty big rainstorm coming, actually it's, it's raining now, and it's not, it's going to last until Friday night where it's going to turn into snow and snow all day Saturday, so it's going to get completely disgusting here, and the chances of our road washing out again. So, while Mother Nature is doing her thing, um, we're going to build more holsters. So I actually spent... Uh, the day before Christmas Eve, I put together a ton of orders, as in, like, I just pressed everything, and then Christmas Day, I worked a little bit, and then yesterday, I just assembled all of them, and I'm going to do that again today, so it was actually uh, pretty nice, it was it was actually nice to keep the ovens off, uh, and just assemble all day, so, that, I don't know, I guess it saves electricity, but I did an order for a Glock 40, right, with Balder Pro and... It came out awesome. Here it is right here. Actually, I was just about to cut it and do my thing, right? And then I realized it's for carbon fiber. So now I have a Glock 40 like this. And here it is right here. Glock 40, 10 millimeter with the Olight Balder Pro. And I'm um, going to have to redo it. And of course, it took all the blocking off. But that's okay because we can do it again. So this is going to be a right-handed in black carbon fiber, RTI 35, which is right here. And it's gonna be mated to a uh, G-code mule with RT RTI 35 hanger. And luckily we just got the delivery. I got 15 hoods in stock. So I can now go ahead and knock some stuff out. So just real quick, I'm gonna clear off an area to work with because like I said, I just built and built and built the other day. And, um, I need a little bit more work, so or a little bit more work to do before I could knock into that. So let me do that real quick, and let's get built, get to building. Now, luckily, because I didn't drill any holes, then uh, I could reheat this, flatten it out, and use it for another build. So, because uh, I'm not scorched or anything like that, so that's good. So uh, here we are, set up with the Glock 40 Balder R or Balder Pro, sorry. Um, and then um, I got all the blocking laid out. Let's build a holster and. Carbon fiber, I got plenty of it right now, so let's do it. All right, here we go, we got what we need. Got the round light widgets, which I do have quite a few in stock, so those are shipping out almost immediately because uh, I'm trying to keep uh, them on hand and good to go, so. And luckily I just got more bits for the CNC machine, so I can go ahead and keep, keep working those. Anyways, we got the hood, the blocking for the hood, sight channel for suppressor height sights, and now we just gotta throw it all together. There is more blocking we're gonna use, but that's okay. So, uh, I've already sanded this right here, like I said, because I already built this holster, and I messed up. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and mount this on here, just with some tape. And I push down, and then I roll in with my thumbs. That way it gets tight on each side. Apparently, except for this side. There we go.
good. And do the five layers. And I just cut that so you can get a little bit more definition on the holster. It's not needed, but that's what I like to do. All right, next is going to be the light widgets and combination, well, like so. This is a long boy. So I like to push down and I pull the tape. Make sure, make sure that's nice and tight. And then I'll do it the opposite way for the next one. And then so these stay parallel. I like to add a piece going right over. All right, so that's mostly the flashlight blocking. I still have this piece. This is a half inch dowel. Flattened it here, angled it here, and channeled it there. That way this sits just like that, and that's how I have it for uh, all of the Balder Pro. Um, actually, anything with the light underneath, or the laser underneath that fits. Um, Pretty much like that, so like the X400 and stuff like that, which I have one on the way, not showing up yet. Uh, and then, uh, bam, yeah, so we'll knock that. I'm gonna do that one pretty much after the fact because I wanna get the rest of the stuff on. So this is Glock, we got um, channel here. So we're gonna have to get this built up to, um, to sit, you know, just in the right spot. So I'll probably go just a little bit thicker than normal. Um, that way it has more stuff to sit on. And then we're gonna be using uh, this right here to pretty much get what we want. So uh, I do have the foam in the press already. So just remember a nice hot foam is gonna be your best friend. So let's place this where it needs to be. Oh, no, I like, we gotta do the other blocking first, which I did this one last time. Cause you can see it's considerable, considerably thicker than this. Um, that way, or taller I should say. And I extend down because with this and this, it's going to need some place to sit. So I'm just going to line it up with that and then throw that in place. And that's going to cover the slide lock and the other goodies. All right. Now with that in place, go ahead. Throw that right there. And 
do I need? Oh, no, I don't need anything. There's plenty on there. All right, now we know that's going to be there. That's good. And this is going to be an RTI 35. So what I do is I have a RTI wheel. And so what I'll do is I'll grab this because we know this is here. And to get the clearance we need, we know that we're gonna have to put it at least right there. Yep. So that's gotta go right there. But we're gonna go as far over as we can. And then we're gonna have to bump that up. So we're gonna have to put something underneath like so, and then more blocking just right under there. And then we'll lock that in place. And don't be afraid to double check things. You know, plus this is gonna be up, so. That right there looks good as it is. So I'm just gonna block this in place right here. It's time for a new uh, cutting mat. This one's all <laughs> this one's all broken. Right, there's one, and I still need to get some blocking underneath there. Something that will hold. Let's see here. That's not too big. Actually, that works out because I'm gonna be putting something right there. So let's see here. Oh, bam! Here we go. And something underneath that to hold it all in place. Beautiful. I like to poke the holes in there so you have the, the dimples. All right, so that's one side. Now we need this side. And so we'll line it up. Looks like right there is gonna be our spot. Tuck that all in. And then I'm gonna want a piece of material. I started using this because it actually helps with the flex. It pretty much eliminates the flex on material. Although I did one the other day where it came out crooked and I did not like it. I was not happy. So I tucked it aside for another day. And if we want, uh, we know that there is a possibility that there could be, um, you know, a slide release on this side. So we'll just throw that in. You know what I could do? Actually, instead of doing two pieces, I made this not long ago. 
to incorporate that actually. All right, and one more piece left to do, and then I gotta go find the uh, retention plate that I used, which should be back here. But no big deal. We still need to throw this on, which is literally, it's just that. See how this sinks down a little bit right here? Actually, not too bad at all. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to just tape that right in place. Now to find the retention plate just to kind of put it in perspective so this right here is a container of all the retention plates for the holsters i've done this past week that's just foam pressed um and then the other half has been vacuumed so this is just foam press holsters so yep and then i go ahead and i put them back where they go but i did find the clock 40. <laughs> boom boom so i'll just attach that and we'll preheat our oven or uh, our carbon fiber. As you see, I got the foam baking. This is the third one, so this one isn't really detrimental to everything. Um, but there we go. These two are hot. That's, that's good. And then we have this one. Um, it is actually preheating. It's warm to the touch. And as you can see, it's starting to bow, which means the heat is soaking in. So I can go ahead, put the Teflon paper on at any moment, and we're going to be ready for this. So here is the ready mold and while that is heating up i still have the mold right here so that's in the press heating up once it hits 390 or 391 i'm going to take it out because uh, it's easy to scorch carbon fiber now for a few years and i mean like four or five years i have been trying to get my hands on a sig p210 to mold or just make holsters for last time i did it was like six years ago and i had to use the customer's firearm and that's an expensive firearm to use and that's something you really I don't want to do because I had to replace the grips because I damaged the grips with the foam press and uh, it ended up being like almost I don't know $180 for just the grips themselves so uh, after putting the bug in Tony Katner's ear with multi molds we have the 210 in stock uh, it is listed on the website because I have about 57 emails that you know over the years of hey let me know when you get it so we got it this, I believe, is the target version. The carry is only uh, like a little bit shorter, but it will work for that as well. I am probably going to cut this in half and make a split for it because no rail, which means no lights and lasers, no accessories. So I'm going to turn this into a vacuum mold. That way I could just pump them out and get rid of them. Um, and then I'll have to buy two more so I could still do a foam. And I just, Anyways, the 210 is now listed on my website right here. And it is finally available. And we are out of the press. Looks pretty damn good, to be honest with you. Yeah, I got the gun undone. And we're now just going to clean up some stuff. So let's get, uh, let's get going where we see this. So now that's there. We'll go back to the side channel that clears everything. Now that I actually made it in the right material, This was RMR cut. Uh, let's see here. Yep, RMR. 
I usually come down and follow this straight up, but we can see where the chamber is on these molds. And the chamber goes to here. So we don't have to go as far. So we do that right there. All right, so I'll drill. And we gotta drill, drill, drill. And then build a few extra things and let it be on its way to not the state. And a couple more steps left to do. Uh, number one, uh, you, you guys see all the time that I really like to build uh, gussets for my level two stuff um, to add extra strength. Now, if you notice on Safari Land builds, what they do is they wrap it completely over. So it's double thickness on the mounts anyway. Um, so I always do it for my level two stuff. Let's see here. You just gotta be make sure it doesn't move on you. Like I said, it's much easier to use clear. There we go. I'll just knock that out real quick. And with everything all said and done, here's the piece right here. Let's go ahead. I already uh, used the Noga RC2000 right here. I already used this on um, the inside here. And just to let you guys know that that tool is now available at Holstersmith, which is pretty freaking great. Uh, so this right here is just getting all the pencil marks off of our gorgeous carbon fiber. There we go. And don't forget to get the inside. And I'm going to have to get the hardware now. Uh, but like I said, this is an RTI 35. Right where I put it. So we got that. This. All right, so I just went and grabbed some of the hardware. All right, so let's add some stuff here. These are here just short screws. And what I'm doing here is I'm mounting the gusset. Uh, instead of doing eyelets, which would require opening it up, I found it, at least with this style, and you don't have a uh, risk of damaging uh, anything. You can go ahead, just line this up like so, and just crank down on that. And then we can add those. All right, let's get our magic... It's time for a new bottle. And this bottle is forty-two dollars. Right. You don't want to go too tight because you will stop the functions of the hood. So I just snug it up, and then I'll actually grab a screwdriver and do it by hand. That's the only thing I hate about. Speed lock, function check, beautiful. All right, now let's add the hardware. Ding, 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 go. Let's check what I have for clearance. <laughs> and I have all of it. Out of bang. Beautiful. I'll set that aside. Let's do the retention hardware. If you don't know, the uh, bezel on the Balder Pro is um, has a couple ledges in it, so 
you got a retention point right here, and then you have the retention point right there. Oh yeah, I like it. And that is mainly that right there. All right, so put that back in and line this up. Let's drill it. it and get the hardware in it I don't know if that's too short huh. that's a beautiful thing Clean a thumbprint off of that Beautiful. Yeah, it's so much better when you make the uh, order in the right material, right color choice. But anyway, all right, this one is heading out. Well, this build was absolutely fun doing it the second time, going from the wrong color to the right color. But as you can see, what it starts life as and what it ends up as that is just gorgeous. I am happy with this, and hopefully Wes is happy with this as well. Uh, it is um, being accompanied by a uh, RTI mule with the RTI 35 plate on it, which still requires one more piece to be able to mount it to your belt. You need the belt mount because it has the RTI 35 mount on it. Now, I do have a definitions page on the website that does describe this stuff because um, I did have a customer the other day ask me, hey, I got the holster. I love it. fits great. How do I mount it? So um, I just thought if you have the RTI, then you, you just should know. Um, but... Everybody's going to start somewhere. Uh, I, obviously, I was new to all this. Uh, this one is the most, uh, I wouldn't say popular. The popular one is the one with the paddle. But if you have this set up, you can go from your leg to your hip to your uh, chest or anywhere the RTI wheel is. So that's pretty epic. So this one I'm going to box up, send out. It is going across the U.S. and I am moving on to the next one, which is amazing. Actually, what I did is every single order that I have... Um, to, or to be built, I laid them all out and I separated foam, vacuum, and be honest with you, I don't have a lot left for 2023. Um, I, and I have three months worth of what's left on my pool table right now. So it's, it's I'm cruising. This particular one is end of August. Um, I have two left of August and like 18 left of September because I've been cruising through everything. So for every vacuum form I've been doing, or sorry, for every foam press, I've been doing a vacuum form, which is why uh, like half of September is already done and half of October um, and, and so on. So I am really moving quickly that way. So I'm hoping to get the lead times down dramatically because I have a new thing that I thought of to do and it's... it's it's working. I got the dogs in here playing. So on that note, I'm going to get off. I am going to move on to the next order to keep things moving. And I will see you guys on the next one. But of course, huge shout out to Holster Smith and Knife Kits. Everything you see that I use is available from holstersmith.com. And uh, I appreciate you guys and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.